There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world What's up, everybody? What's up, YouTube fam? What's up, everybody? So we're here today. We're gonna try this wig. Out. Let me let me just tell y'all this. This is the fourth wig of the day, girl. Okay, it is now five forty-five in the PM, and I have been at this all day. So I have had my work cut out for me today. What I've been doing different. This is why it's been taking me longer than normal. Is because at the end of the video, I try to pair up the wig with an outfit. You know what I'm saying? Like I went in my closet, I picked out some outfits that I wear with the wig when I decide to go out or just showing you something that you can do differently. Now, mind you, we ain't all got the same stuff in our closet. I'm on a plus size. So keep in mind, I'm not really trying to buy new clothes because I really don't want to buy anything bigger. I'm going to wear what I got. And then hopefully in the weight loss journey, however long it takes, maybe I'll get back into those sizes that I also got in the closet. But until then, we're going to rock out what we got. I got some thrifted stuff. I got some brand new stuff that I've never worn. Girl, we're just going to try this wig on. We're going to do this and we are going to see how it ends up. Now, mind you, let me just say this. I safe always the best for last but the four out of four of them three was amazing so this is one of the amazing ones because you know it's well african you can't get no better than that now this is one of their new units you know my new mannequin she rocking it she gotta get a touch up we're gonna do her makeup and stuff like that switch her eyelashes out this is the natural edges one now i have tried one earlier today and i'm gonna just tell y'all the first one that i ever tried today the hair wasn't as thick as it is right here. So I was kind of scared to tweeze it, to style it. It was a little sparse, which was fine. It was okay. It depends on what you like. So while Africans, they give you enough. So that way, if you do decide to tweeze some of it off, girl, you're good to go. Okay. I hot combed comb the go. edges just so they could lay down, but I flat ironed the rest of the hair. I didn't want to take too much of the texture away. I wanted to kind of keep that texture and give it kind of like a blowout kind of look and keep the edges, but not so thick. So I got my work cut out for me, but I'm prepared, honey. I'm prepared. I got my tools on deck and we're just going to see how it go. We're going to roll with it. Okay. So with that being said, hunties, let's just jump into this video and style profile. And at the end of the video, I'm going to definitely show you how I would pair it with an outfit. Might be casual, might be fun, might be flirty girl. We're going to just see. Okay. to know if you are serious serious about us yeah baby your love is cold but i don't feel the trust something's not adding up what you been up to drinking all night who's that right by your side why don't you tell me now Oh, why you calling me late at night Saying you need a ride When you don't tell me why I got a thing about you You got a thing about me too But you keep playing with my feelings Even though you know I got a thing about you We got a thing for each other so don't go wasting what you feeling Don't be dumb, be dumb, be dumb oh, oh, oh. So let me tell y'all, when I seen the hairline of this wig, I honestly was scared. Like, I didn't know what was, what was going to happen, how it was going to turn out, how I was going to finesse this. You know, like, this was kind of challenging, but it's really not that hard at all. Like, to be honest with you, I think these curly edge lace fronts are way way more easier than a non-curly edge lace front because with these type of edges 
girl you don't need any baby hairs you don't have to worry about slicking it down like the curly edges the natural look is definitely giving you a natural look like look at those edges like i'm telling you if you want to tweeze a little bit like i did you can do so it always can help but i like the fact that while african made the edges like super thick but not too thick and the way they placed the hair was just like really like hands down. I'm going to say it looked bomb as hell. This wig was way easier than putting on anybody else's a lace front wig. You ain't have to slick no baby hairs down. Like, girl, the edges didn't even have to be super duper neat. Like, you know, baby hairs be having a look. Like, this can look messy, but it still looks good. Like, I, I don't know about y'all, but I'm really feeling this texture, these new wigs. Like, at first when I seen these wigs i was like girl what but then as i have tried this is the second one i tried today the first one that i tried was the same type of hair texture but their hairline was not like thick enough like they they was kind of being uh stingy with the with the thickness of the hair but while africa so and it, but it so it made it a little bit harder for me to you know do but while african they came through with like the right amount the right density like girl look this wig is everything this is giving you natural this is giving you realistic this is giving you easy this is giving you do it like it's your b day baby do it like you grown and sexy, okay? Now with this, you definitely gonna slay. Look at the hairline. The hairline is realistic looking like, I like everything about this. Whoever invented this curly edge thing is like, is like a, a scientist of hair. Like, I don't know what you call it, but they really did the damn thing. Like, I like this. It's always great to try something out because I'll tell you, when I first seen these wigs, these wigs, I was just like, yeah, no, nah, that's not happening. April would not be trying one. But then I started seeing them and I was like, you know what? Let me let me give that a try. And yeah, wow, African, you did that. Like, you kind of scared me at first, but I'm going to just be honest and tell you, you definitely did that. Now, right here, I'm just using this no sweat stuff. Um, it's by Barna Brothers, I think. I, girl, this bottle is like $40, okay? And you ain't getting it cheap nowhere. So it's no sweat. And it's no, basically for men who wear, you know, to, to pays and stuff. And what you want to do is just spritz it on. Make sure your hairline is clean. And then spritz it on. It's not going to be really sticky. It's just going to give you like this barrier where it allowed the wig to just still hold on if you sweat. Now, I've tried these before, not with this brand, but this other skin protectant I have is somewhat like that. And this one I like kind of because it doesn't leave like any type of residue or film on it. But honestly, I don't know if it really, really works like that because I personally will not sleep in a wig. And so I can't really tell you, but you know, I had purchased this so some time ago and girl, look, I'm gonna try my products and use them because that bottle was like $35, $40. Now, do y'all see this lace right here? It's, it's thin. It's really nice lace. Okay. This is the film lace, which gives you that clean hairline, that melted hairline. Like I'm saying the, 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 the edges of this wig is Damn, damn good, damn good. Now, all around, the wig is amazing. I like the parting. I like the fact that I didn't have to do anything like bleaching or plucking. Like, I'm really amazed. I, well, I did do some plucking, but that was very minimum. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is the part where you can do or you can don't. I like to do, which means adhere the unit. I mean, I really don't either, but you know, when I do have to adhere it, you know, I am going to go in and use my Aussie Instant Freeze. This is the best spray around, girls. I'm telling you, it's $4. You can get it at Marshalls, excuse me, not Marshalls, Walmart, Target. You know, you can get it. You can get it at Amazon. You know, for sure you can get it in Amazon. I love this stuff. It instantly freezes. I put like three coats, barriers on. You know, one, I'll let it get tacky. Second barrier, I'll let it get tacky. And then the third barrier. I let it get tacky and then I'm you know I'm pushing the wig down but you gotta be careful sometimes with certain wigs like you don't want to just go all willy-nilly in and just start pressing down you want to take your time and definitely make sure that the glue or the hairspray that you're using is tacky because if you don't the damn wig is not gonna slip down now look at that 
really nice. Now they probably look a little overwhelming to some, but girl, I'm gonna be using my Mark Anthony's uh, styling foam, you know, the one that's for curly hair, and this is considered curly hair. Now, look, I didn't wanna pluck any of it off, so what I did was I just took the mousse, or the styling foam, and I just brushed it into the edges and I brushed the edges into the hair. That way I don't have to get rid of anything. I don't have to pluck it. I can have it for later usage if I want. You know what I mean? So this is what I'm talking about with this wig. It's very easy. You can do your own thing. Look how natural that looks. That looks really, really natural. Like a Dominican blowout. Girl, yes. That, that is a nice wig. I like this wig a lot. Now, just for my own purposes, so just a little bit of my concealer in the part just to bring the color just a little bit more to my own skin tone flesh. And then I'll use a makeup brush just to brush it in more, just so that way it has like that faded look. I don't want it to be sitting right on top. So make sure you brush it in really well. Don't put too much. And if you feel like you put too much, you can always just get like a wet cloth and just, you know, kind of like dap it away and erase it. But you see how I do. And there we go. So I am done with the styling of this. This actually wasn't that hard. I was so overwhelmed because it was so much going on at the hairline. I was like, girl, I'm going to ruin this. I'm going to overplug it to where there isn't no edges. I'm, I'm just not going to know what to do with it. I'm going to make myself look really thick at the hairline. Girl, I just took one of my favorite mousses. Y'all know I love this stuff right now, which is Mark Anthony. Girl, I use this for all kind of type of texture hair. I don't care what it say, okay? And this stuff worked really good. Just brush that baby hairs or brush those curly edges, natural edges right into the regular hair, what I did. And I gave myself the amount that I wanted on the side, okay? Like this is what I wanted. This was this was enough for me because you know your girl like it to be a little sparse. I don't like too much. I just like it to be a little sparse. But I didn't want to take away from the texture. This is a lot of hair. When I tell you this density is giving, this is giving you everything you would need in a yakky, kinky texture type hair. Like this texture is beautiful. You know, once you wash it, it's definitely going to revert back to being thicker and more texture, but even just flat ironing it didn't take all the texture out. So this is a lot of hair and I'm feeling it. Like I really do like this a lot, like 22 inches boo. And this looks like somebody's 24. Hold up. Wait a minute. Do it like it's your day, baby. Do it like you've grown a sex a, baby. Do it with them edges. You know what? This is really natural looking. I love it. The lace is great. The density is great. The cap fit is great. The lace is melting, baby, like it's butter on a frying pan ready to be cooked. So on that note, make sure you check the description box down below. Let me know what you think in the comments. And your girl's going to go ahead and put on a different outfit. And we're going to see how we, you know, roll with it. Like, you know, put it in grasp with this hair. But this right here is definitely giving me like a Dominican blowout. Like I'm loving it. Looking at myself, checking myself out. So hopefully the outfit that I pair with this hair will do it justice. So stay tuned for the finish, finish look. Check the comments out, and I will see y'all in the comments, you guys. And as always, stay diva and diva delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, and I will see y'all in the next one.
Thank you.